Hey, wonder friends, we are going to draw a banana man. Banana man, banana man, banana man. Say it with me, banana man. Here we go. All right, Wonder Friends, are you ready to have some fun drawing this banana man? All right, this is funny. We're gonna put a mustache on a banana, we're gonna draw it, and we're gonna have fun with it, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, and it's gonna be a little weird, and that is what makes drawing fun, is you can make up these characters and stuff like that. Um, now, you're gonna draw different than me. That's okay, that's good. Um, I don't want you to feel like that you have to draw perfect, because guess what, I don't, and that's okay. Second, um, you might think that I talk fast, and I do, and uh, you may get uh, a little lost on it, but that's okay, just pause the video and go back, I won't be offended. Uh, and second, you might mess up or feel that it's not good and all that stuff like that, and that's completely fine too. Just get a new piece of paper and start over, nobody's gonna know. All right, so. What we want to do is we want to start with our page up and down. We're going to start with a very simple banana shape. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to draw an arch like that. Very simple, right? Everybody can do that. Now, where we met up here, we're going to draw an arch back that way. Just like that. And we're going to end it with a little line down. And we're going to draw another little line there, okay? At the top of this, we are going to draw... A line out just like this and I want to draw a line just like that and I want to draw a line just like that and I want to connect this ta-da you have drawn a banana you might take a bow yeah, thank you all right so now we have that we're going to draw a face on this banana right so to draw the face on a banana I'm going to actually switch over to a thinner marker so it's easier for me so I don't cross the lines too much and I want to draw just one circle like that and I want to draw another circle like that right beside it. Those are also zeros. Those are also circles. Those are also pennies or dimes or any kind of shape that you can think of that would make that circle make sense to you. Um, and then inside of that, we're just going to put two more dots. Fill those in. Now our banana can see. Aren't you so happy that you made our banana see? All right, we're going to make some eyebrows. Now here's the thing. I want this character to have a big bushy beard. Or I'm sorry. Hey, so we're gonna make some eyebrows. Now, I want this character to have a big, bushy mustache. All right, now on this mustache, if it's big and bushy, I imagine his eyebrows are big and bushy. So I wanna make sure that I make some big and bushy eyebrows, and I'm gonna draw that by just putting some like big rectangles up here, like whoa, big ones. And I'm gonna zigzag fill in. I don't know if that's the actual term, but that's what I do. I call it a zigzag fill in where it's not exactly 100% filled in and I can do that because I want to add a different color in there when I go to color that in. Now, to put the mustache on here, um, I want you to, I, I want you really to have some fun with this and change this up however you would like to do. You don't have to do the exact same mustache that I do. Maybe you want like a curved one or whatever, but I, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw a line out just like this. And I'm just gonna make a shape, whoosh, just like, it's just a big mustache, right? And then I'm gonna add just some little <laughs> random hairs, random hairs. You can make those sounds if you want, totally up to you. And I got those in here. Now, now I don't need to put a mouth on here. I, I just want this big mustache because, a, a, you know, a character has a mustache this big, the mouth is going to be hidden by it anyway, so don't worry about that. But I do want, if you go to the grocery store and you see those little stickers that are on bananas, I am going to put that on here, and I'm going to draw that by just doing a rectangle, just like that. Just put a rectangle right there. Now, on that sticker, there is a, uh, a yellow character, right? It's mostly what you know. I want to change mine up, and I'm gonna say that he's wearing a tie on his sticker. Um, you can design this sticker any way that you would like to see. I'm gonna just draw a V like this, and just a line down, just like that. Very simple, and I'm gonna just put some lines on it. And when I go to color this, it'll look like a tie, okay? And then, for some arms, I am going to switch back over to my other big marker just so it works a little better. And then I'm going to just draw. I want to keep this simple, right? When we're doing characters, we want our focus for this stuff to be on what the character the thing is. I'm not so worried about all the extra, you know, feet and things of that nature. And I'm just gonna draw in some filled in circles on the end. Stick fingers. Not a big deal how you draw them. 
He's waving. He's happy. He is happy that you have made this banana come to life. And we're just going to draw some straight lines down. And then let's just kick off some little feet like that. Now you can add in some stuff like, let's think about these things. So we have to color in the end of it, right? Zigzag color. I leave some space so I can fill it in with different things. I'm If I draw some like little lines on here, those are things, if you could think about a banana in your mind, you think of like there's those little like, almost has like a little line or when you peel it, it, it peels like a line. It's kind of, I think, why we do those things. Um, also spots, right? There's always spots on a banana. You can add little spots around there. Um, think of it when you have looked at a banana or maybe you're eating a banana while you draw this and you think about all those things that are on there to make this banana look different. I draw a little cap on the end there because if you look when you break off a banana off the bunch, sometimes the top is white and it changes a little bit or sometimes it gets a little brown. I do those things to add in extra detail. So if you have a banana, look at it and you can add all those extra things to this character or maybe now next you want to, you know, have the banana man have like a, a banana buddy. Like it could be like a friend and, and you know, he's going to take her dancing and they're going to go watch a movie and, you know, I don't know, they're going to have a banana split. Like, I don't know, have some fun with it and create this world and explore all those things. But I am going to color this in. And if you want to color or just like me, it's really simple at the end of this video. I will pause it so you can color just like me. Uh, or you can just go ahead and do your thing and color any way that you want. Uh, I will not be offended in any way. All right, so last thing we need to do is we need to sign our name on it. So everyone knows who made this awesome piece of art. Hey friends, did you enjoy drawing that banana man? Did you make a mustache different than mine? Did you change it up a little bit? Maybe those eyebrows look a little bit different. Uh, maybe you made yours a girl or a boy or a, I don't know, a banana wearing a hat. I don't care how you did it. I just want you to try drawing something that you think that you can't draw, but with a little bit of help, you were able to draw it. Whew, that was a lot to say and a lot of time. All right, guys, I hope you all have fun doing that. That's really the point, is I love the fact that you show up, you flex your creativity, and you just try something. Uh, you want to get better at it? That's all you got to do is just try. Sometimes when we start, we're not good at something. It happens to me all the time. But through trying, you get better. And if you want to draw like me or like somebody else, or maybe just take some of the stuff we're showing you, that's exactly how you do it. You find somebody else doing something that inspires you, and you just copy them. Figure it out. Start to see what makes it work for you, and that's what the power of flexing those creativity muscles, being brave, and stepping into something that you may not think you can do right now, but with a little bit of help, you'll be able to. Speaking of that, make sure you check out the next videos because you may not think you can draw some of those stuffs in there, and I guarantee you with a little bit of help and a willingness to try, you are going to master it. Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com, for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!